Are you struggling with the error message? Cannot open include file sd.io.h while using Visual Studio Community 2017? You're not alone. This is a common issue that many developers face, and today we're going to tackle it together. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when you're trying to build your project and an error pops up out of nowhere. It can feel like you're hitting a brick wall, especially when you followed all the steps correctly. But don't worry, we're here to find a solution. Let's dive into the specific situation. One user reached out saying they keep encountering the error cannot open include file stio.h when trying to build their C++ solution. They mentioned that this file is referenced in their statefx.h file. Sound familiar? Let's explore this issue together. So what does this error mean? Essentially, it indicates that the compiler cannot locate the statio.h file, which is crucial for input and output operations in C++. This can happen due to misconfigured settings or missing files. Let's break down the troubleshooting steps. And stick around. By the end of this video, you'll not only know how to fix this error, but also gain insights on how to prevent it in the future. To resolve the issue with the missing stdio.h file, the user should first check if the Visual Studio installation includes the necessary components for C++ development. Next, the user should verify the include directories in the project settings. This ensures that the compiler knows where to find standard library files like stdio.h. After confirming the include directories, the user should check if the Windows SDK is properly installed. This SDK contains the standard headers required for C++ development. If the problem persists, the user can try creating a new project to see if the issue is specific to the current project. This can help identify if the configuration is the problem. Finally, if none of these steps resolve the issue, the user may consider reinstalling Visual Studio to ensure all components are correctly set up. Fun fact. The stdio.h file is part of the C standard library, which has been around since the early days of programming. It's amazing how foundational it is to so many programs today. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests a quick fix for the include file error. They recommend adding the paths for VC include and Windows SDK include into the project properties. Specifically, you can do this by navigating to C, C++ settings, then general, and finally additional include directories. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests that if you're facing this issue in Visual Studio 2019, you can resolve it by downloading the build tools. They recommend visiting the Visual Studio downloads page and selecting the build tools for Visual Studio 2019. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. One user shared an alternative solution for the cannot open include file stdio.h error. They suggest adding default includes to your project settings. Specifically, they recommend including the command include path in your configuration. Let's take a moment to review another user's answer. An alternative solution provided by another user involves modifying your Visual Studio installation. First, run the Visual Studio installer and click on Modify. Then, ensure that Desktop Development with C++ is selected. In the installation details, choose the Windows 10 SDK version and click Modify to apply the changes. After modifying the installation, right-click on your project, go to Properties, and set the Windows SDK version to the currently installed version. Finally, click Apply to save your changes. Now, let's dive into a different answer from another user. An alternative solution comes from another user who faced a similar issue after updating Visual Studio 2017. They resolved their problem by changing the setting for Ignore Standard Include Paths to Yes. After attempting to build the solution and encountering multiple errors, they switched the setting back to No. Upon rebuilding, the errors disappeared. Here's a pro tip. 
always ensure your Visual Studio installation includes the desktop development with C++ workload. This ensures that all necessary files and libraries are installed correctly. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to resolve the cannot open include file sddio.h error. Remember, troubleshooting is a part of the development process. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.